I'm Osborne. And, and we, we are, are the Royal, Royal Kids, Kids of CFWOC. Welcome, Welcome to, to April. April. Woo! Welcome to the service. We're happy and we're glad you're here with us today. Hello, everyone. And hello once again, Royal Kids. It's Auntie G here again. Welcome to the month of April. April is a special month in the life of Christians throughout the whole world. In the month of April, Christians all over the world celebrate Easter. This is Easter weekend. And today, Easter Sunday, is a very special day. Remember, back in December, God promised to give us a savior, Jesus Christ. And we celebrated the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ on Christmas day. On Easter, we celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ which brought peace to the whole world. And what is peace? Peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. Before we continue, let us pray. In Jesus' name, dear God, we thank you for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the greatest gift that you gave to us, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for you made a way for us to make peace with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get into worship. You're my courage, hard enough to be afraid. You're my fortress, no matter what comes my way. You're my treasure forever. Yes, we'll be together always. Even when the days get harder, I know you'll rescue me. Even when the sky is darker, I know you'll bring me peace. You are my strength, you are my savior. I gotta be honest, it's easy to think about peace as a bubble. Ignoring the world so that you can chill out and get a little you time. Or, 
Or maybe you think of peace as a simple agreement. You do your thing, I do mine. Then we don't have to worry about each other's problems or the ways we're different from each other. Or you might see peace as a big, grand thing. General, this treaty officially ends all wars. But true peace doesn't look like any of that. True peace is messy. It takes hard work and creativity. It says, how can I listen to you first before I speak? It says, how can I learn what it's like to walk in your shoes before I try to fix it? How can we get creative to find a way through? See, when you do the hard work of making peace, others can see God at work in you. That's why making peace is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship, it's about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the entire Bible. Hello once again, it is time for our lesson for today. Today is Easter Sunday, and I'm very excited to share this story with you today. Today, we celebrate what Jesus Christ did for us so we can have peace with God. Before we get started, let's go back to the beginning of God's people. In the beginning, God created a beautiful garden called paradise. This paradise was named the Garden of Eden. In this paradise, God had animals, plants, and everything that makes it beautiful. And finally, God created man. God called the first people that he created, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve lived in the garden until they did what God had told them not to do, and they lost peace with God. And that made the garden to become a broken world. When paradise was broken, people began to lie. People began to live in sin. They did all sorts of things that God told them not to do. Remember, God told Abraham that one day he will make him a great nation. Abraham had Isaac, and Isaac had two sons, Esau and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Abraham's family became a nation, and the nation was called the Israelites. And still, the people of God were not in peace. The Israelites were slavery in Egypt, and God sent Moses to deliver them from Egypt, and still they could not find peace. And they sought a way to make peace with God. They asked God to give them a king. God gave the Israelites so many kings, like King David. Still, they could not have a lasting peace. For thousands of years, the Israelites could not have peace, and God has not forgotten his promise to Abraham that he will send a rescue to them. That's why Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Colossians 1.20, God was pleased to bring all back to himself. That's because of what Christ has done. These things include everything on earth and in heaven. God made peace through Christ's blood by his death on the cross. God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to make peace with the people. And because of what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, we have peace with God. And the story has not finished here. On the third day, after Jesus Christ was crucified, one of his friends, named Mary Magdalene, ran to the tomb where Jesus was buried to see his body. When Mary came to the tomb, she saw that the tomb was empty and she quickly ran to tell the disciples of Jesus what she saw. And they quickly came with her and saw that the tomb was empty. And while they were yet confused, two angels appeared to Mary and asked Mary, Mary, why are you crying? And Mary said in the book of John chapter 20 verse 13, they have taken my Lord away, she said. I don't know where they put him. Then Mary turned around and saw a man in the garden 
And the man asked Mary, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? And Mary answered, They have taken the body of Jesus away. Mary asked the man if he saw the people that took the body of Jesus away. Immediately the man called her name Mary. Mary knew that it was Jesus and she quickly ran to tell the others that he is alive. Because Jesus is alive, we can face tomorrow. The bottom line is God made peace with us. God made a way for us to have a relationship with him and because of this, we have peace with God. That's our Bible study for today. See you. For the month of April. Romans 14, 19. So let, let us do all we can to live in peace. And let us work hard to build up one another. We hope you practice at home. Hi everyone. This is Sister Blessing here for you today. As you all know, this is the month of Easter 
we are celebrating Easter. If you think about it, Jesus is the ultimate peacemaker. We can have peace with God because of him. Everything that happened in history led to what Jesus Christ did for us in the cross. As we celebrate Easter, let's remember this. God made peace with us. Take a moment, think about this, especially if you can have a quiet moment in the middle of this celebration, take some time and thank God for sending Jesus Christ and thanking him for all what he has done for you. And remember this, God is always there for you. Bottom line, God made peace with us. Remember, God is always there for you. Basic truth, you can trust him no matter what. Let us think about some ways we can follow Jesus Christ's example. Try to make peace with others. That is our memory verse for this month. Romans 14, 19. Let us try and make peace with others and try to lift others up. That's such a great reminder of how we can make peace with one another. We can build others up the way we treat them, and we can remember all that Jesus did to make peace with us. And we can choose to be peacemakers too. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for what you have teach us. We pray that we continue to have peace with one another by lifting them up. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Thanks for joining us for today's service. We hope you enjoyed the service. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell to be notified every service we post. See you next week. Bye.